The following is a dramatic reading of a poorly written fan fiction. Viewer discretion is advised. Um, All right. We got. We got to do this. Gotta, so who would I be? You. You pretty much pick. Uh, you pick who you want to be, unless Devin's like, no, fuck you. Oh. And then you pick the next person. I want to be a drunk man. That's pretty much all the characters, I think. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Let's let's fucking do this shit already. <sighs> okay. Chapter 17. Author's note. I said stop filming da strio if er a prep den did not read it. You can tell whether er a prep and not by my quiz. It's on my home patch. <laughs> Wait, didn't we take that already? Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. we oh, were oh, yeah, we read preps. we read the author's note already. That's right. I'm finishing it anyway. <laughs> if er not den you rock. If you are den fook oof. Pz Willow isn't ready a prep. Revan pulls do this ill promise to give u back er poster. Cool. Tom Riddle gave us some clothes and free stuff for free. <laughs> <laughs> it's free stuff for free, man. Hell yeah. Don't even know what's written, but okay. <laughs> Wait, he didn't. It says Tom Riddle gave us some clothes and stuff for free. Oh, that's all right. I'm dumb. Yeah. Amigra faults all over. <laughs> he said he would help us with makeup if he wanted, cause he w was ready into fashion and stuff. He's besezual. Hargard <laughs> kept shooting at us to come back to Hogwarts. <laughs> I think it's a snake. Yeah. <laughs> Apologies. WTF, Hagrid. I shouted angrily. Fuck off, you fajucking bastard. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, Willow came. Hargrid Har <laughs> went away angrily. I'm not sure who's saying I think Willow. this is... Yeah, this is Willow. This is, this is Devin. Oh. Hey, bitch, you look kawaii. She said... Bitch is mad kawaii. Yeah, but not as kawaii as you. I said sadly, because Willow's pr really pretty and everything. She was wearing a short black corset thingy with red, blood red lace on it, and a black blood red miniskirt, leather fishnets, and black pointy boots that showed off how pale she was. She had a really nice body with big bobs and everything. <laughs> she was thin enough to be anorexic <laughs> <laughs> so, are, so are you going to the concert with Draco uh, she asked yeah I said happily I'm going with Diabolo I ensued <laughs> <laughs> happily well anyway Draco and Diabolo came they were both locking extremely hot and sexy, and who could tell they thought we were ought to. Diabolo was wearing a black t-shirt that said 666 on it. He was wearing tons of makeup, just like Marilyn Manson. Draco was wearing black leather pants, a gothic black GC t-shirt, and black vans he got from the Warped Tor Tower. <laughs> the Warped Tower, okay. <laughs> Be Luddy Mart. Was going to the concert with Dracolo. Dracolo used to be called Naval, but it turned out that he was kidnapped at birth, and his real family were vampires. They died in a. Up. I guess so, but now it's Naval. Awesome. They they died as in they died their clothes in a car crash. Naval converted to Satanism, and he went goth. He was in Slytherin now. He was wearing a black warped t-shirt, black jeans and shoes, and black hair with red streaks in it. We call him Dracula. A Dracula, my bad. <laughs> Dracula now. Well, anyway, we all went to Draco's Black Mercy Benz. 
get it because we're get <laughs> thick. <laughs> that his dad Lucian gave him. We did pot, coke, and crack. Draco and I made out. <laughs> we made fun of those stupid fucking preps. We soon got there. Dot dot dot. I gapsed. Gerard was the sexiest guy ever. He locked even sexier than he did in pics. He had long raven black hair and piercing blue eyes. He was really skinny and he had an amazing ethnic voice. He had an ethnic voice. <laughs> we moshed to Helena and some other songs. Suddenly, Gerard pulled off his mask. So did the... I remember this entire part now. So did the other members. The eye gaps... It wasn't Gerard at all. It was an ugly preppy man with no nose and red eyes. Everyone ran away but me and Draco. Draco and I came. In. <laughs> so ugly. Oh. It was Vladimir and the Death Dealers. You moronic idiot! He shooted angstily. Enobi, I told you to kill vampire. Thou have failed. And now I shall kill thou and Draco. No, no, please. You had to say that with him, Sparky. Oh, uh, should we count or something? Oh. Uh, no! No, please! We begged sadly, but he took out his knife. Suddenly, a gothic old man flew on, on his broomstick. He had long black hair and long black bread. <laughs> he was wearing a black robe that said Afro Levine on the back. That's a terrible robe. <laughs> he shot at a spell and Vladimort ran away. It was Dumbledore. <gasps> da, da, da. <laughs> All right, that was, that was a good way to end the chapter. God. Of course it is. <laughs> yeah, that's all you gotta do is say it was person. Yeah, and it was dumbly adorable people. It's perfect. That's how, get, that's how you get people on the edge of their seats. <laughs> chapter 18. Author's note. I said stop flaming. If you do then, you're a fucking prep. Thanks to Raven for the help in stuff. Urok, and er not a prep. <laughs> Thanks for Masuter. P.S. The other Essen Dumbledore swore is cause he trin to be gothic so der. I, wasn't she mad at Raven a bit ago? I she was. So. They patched things up. Yep. Yeah. Gave back her poster and she got a sweater out of it. Oh, hell yeah. I actually looked that up on Google and it didn't come up with anything. Uh, Why would you look up look up this he fan he said, No, no, no. He said to look up if she if Raven ever got back her sweater. Yeah, he did. Uh, I think there needs to be more of a backstory for the author's note story that's going on along with this. Heck, that's a better story than the fucking fan fiction. Yeah. This is a, a fucking drama. drama. It's, it's a better story than Twilight. Anything's oh. a better story than Twilight. Twilight's Twilight. the best. I ate a cookie. Better story right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it has remorse because you don't have a cookie anymore. No. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> I love you, cookie. No. <laughs> I miss him dearly. I woke up the next day in my coffin. I walked out of it and put on some black eyeliner. Black eye shero, blood red, blood bed lipstick, and black really low cut leather dress that was all ripped and in stripes, so you could see my belly. I was wearing a skull belly ring with black and red diamonds inside it. The night before Draco and I rent back to the skull, get it skull cause I'm gothic and I like death. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbledore chase Vladimort away. We flew there on our brooms. Mine was black and the broom stuff was blood red. <laughs> the broom <laughs> stuff. There was lace all over it. Draco had a black MCR broom. There's MCR brooms. <laughs> Where can I acquire these brooms? No, MCR boom. Oh, it's, yeah. Oh. Okay, it's a boom. Okay, it's a loud sound. 
He's it's riding a boom a mic. Oh, okay. <laughs> we went back to our rooms, and we had you know what to Lincoln Park song. <laughs> That is oh, horrible. Ugh. Always gets me in the mood. Uh, to murder people, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what song was playing. Just like the fucking divide. <laughs> <sighs> well, anyway, I went down to the Great Hall. Not not the Great Hall. The Great Hall. <laughs> there, all the walls were painted black, and the tables were black too. That's terrible color coordination. But you fought see that there was pink pant underneath the black pant. And there were pastors of poser bands everywhere, like Ashley Simpson and the Backstreet Boys. What? Uh, Backstreet Boys are good. What's going hey, on? Baby, baby, one, one, two. Oh, that's, that's the wrong person. <laughs> Shit. I thought that was Backstreet Boys. <laughs> I shouted, going to sit next to B-Luddy Mary and Willow. B. Luddy Mary was wearing a black leather mini with a good Charlotte t-shirt, black fishnets, this person really likes fashion of the goth variety, and black pointy boots. Willow was wearing a long gothic black dress with blood red writing that was all lacy and came up to your thighs in black boots and fishnets. Vampire, Dracula, and Draco came. We started to talk about who was sexier, Mikey or Gerard Way or Billy Joe Armstrong. The boys joined in because they were by. Who's Navel? Devin! Those guys are so fucking hot. Okay, Russ is. <laughs> this is definitely Navel. It's definitely Navel. <laughs> Navel was saying as suddenly a gothic old man with a black beard and everything came. He was the one who had chast away Vladimort yesterday. He had a normal tan skin, but he was wearing white foundation. And he had dyed his hair black. One, two, three. Dumbly or one. Question one exclamation point. Thanks. <laughs> we all gasped. WTF? I shouted angrily. I thought he was just wearing that to scale Volsamort. <laughs> There's Volsamort with an F and now S and D. Jesus. <laughs> Even the same person. This is this is you, uh, Russ. Is it? Oh, yeah. Uh, that's the your line that you read. Hello, everyone. He said happily. As you can see, I gave the room a makeover. What do you think about it? Everyone from the poser table in Gryffindor started to cheer. Will we goffs? Well, we goffs. Just looked at each other, all disgusted, and shook our heads. We couldn't believe what a poser he was, one. BT Dubs, you can call me Albert. He called as we left to our classes. What a fucking poser! Draco <laughs> shouted angrily as we, as we we to transformation. We were holding hands. Vampire looked really jealous. I could see him crying blood in a gothic way. Get it? Way like Gerard. You get it? Don't get it. Don't ha. get it. The red gets it. Ha <laughs> But I didn't say anything. I bet he's having a midlife crisis. Willow shouted. I was so fucking angry. What the fuck? <laughs> this is so bad. I'm so confused. Like, I had an idea of what was going on, but now I'm just confused. Dude, that I thought Vampire was dead. Uh, he's I'm... He revived himself. He's Vampire. All oh, right. If that pizza's oh, wait, not here yeah. in five minutes, then I'm upset. Take a drink. <laughs> Take a drink. Oh, uh, I have beer, so that's good. Uh, okay. I have vodka. I'll I'll go get a drink. If I, it's I gotta open minutes. another. I think we need a drink with this fucking story. Yeah. I'm gonna open another. Be right back. Such a lunch. Chapter I night. Just... Oh, what's that? Sorry, I just got mistaken on Tumblr for red. <laughs> oh. Welcome to Tumblr. Get used to it. <laughs> that is now red. I'm sorry, old red. Old red. Okay. Wait, what? I'm sorry, red 1.0. How oh. dare you? <laughs> You're not old. I'm sorry. What about big red? Ooh. Yeah. Red October. That's gum right there. It is October. Yeah. And I am red. <laughs> I like logic. You can become the month. All right. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> chapter 19. I'm not okay, I promise. Oh, th this is the first chapter with a title? I don't Weird. know, I didn't see I any think this, from the I others. think it's just the update. Uh... Author's note. Pulls stop flaming the story. If you do er a fucking prep and er jealous. Okay, one one. From knock and I'm gong to dealt er man revows. One one one. BT dubs even id a poor blood. So der one. Thanks to Raven for em um, da help one one. Those are fun to read. All day we sat angrily, thinking about Dumbledore. We were so fucking pissed off. Well, I had one thing to look forward to. The MCR concert. How many fucking MCR concerts are there at this place? <laughs> Once a week. Christ. Once they just live there minutes. and that's how they pay their bills. <laughs> they just have fucking concerts. <sighs> it had been... Most... What's that? No, go ahead. It had been postponed, so we could all go. Anyway, I went to the common room, sadly, to cut classes. Draco was being all secretive. I asked what it was, and he got all mad at me, and started crying all hot and angsty. Ernt sensitive by guys so hot. No one understands me, one. You didn't say fucking, bro. Fucking! Thank you. He shouted angrily as his hair, his black hair, went in his big blue eyes like Billy Joe in Boulevard of Borken Dreams. He was wearing black baggy paints, a black, a black MCR T-shirt, and a black dye. Get it instead of tie, cause I'm gothic. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I, I think I'm finally getting it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might be actually. I just understand the whole storyline right there. Uh, I was wearing a black leather low-cut top with chains all over it. All over it, a black leather mini, black high-held boots, and a cross-belly thing. <laughs> My hair was all up in a messy, really high bun like Amy Lee in Gong Under. Email me if you want to see the pic. We gotta email her about yeah, that Yeah, what's your email? <laughs> I need oh, she to... died. Oh, did she? Oh, it sucks. So much cutting. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Accuse me. What about me? I growled. Bye! But, but! He grunted. You fucking bastard. I moaned. No! Wait! It's not what it fucking looks like! He shouted. But it was too late. I knew what I heard. I ran to the bathroom angrily. Kring. Draco banged on the door. I whipped and wept as my bloody eyeliner streamed down my checks and made cool tears down my feces like Benji <laughs> in the video for girls and boys. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only non-typo in this. I was trying to keep a straight face too. No, not gonna happen. Damn it. <laughs> In the videos for girls and boys, Raven, that is so our video. I took out a cigarette and started to smoke pot. <laughs> Suddenly, Hargrid came. He had a period. <laughs> oh. You gave me a fucking shock. I shouted angrily, dropping my pot. Party though. <laughs> WTF do you think you're doing in the girl's room? You read. No, there's more narration. Mm-hmm. Oh, Actually, shit. none of it's me. Uh, you're, you're, Hagrid. you're Hagrid. I know, but that... Work. I know. Oh. But I mean, I mean, coming up here... Oh, I'm not you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Stop it. Only it wasn't just Hagrid. Someone else was with him, too. For a second, I wanted it to be Tom Ridd, or maybe Draco, but it was Dumbledore. Hey, I need to ask you a question. He said, pulling out his black wannabe gothic purse. What are you wearing to the concert? You know who MCR are, I gasped. No, 
I just saw there was a concert that a lot of goths and punk X were going to, he said. Anyway, Draco has a surprise for you. So why was Hacker there if he didn't do anything? He's just like, yeah, yeah, he's Harry make a show. Why not? I'm gonna swing my arms like this. <laughs> la la la. <laughs> just pull out a purse. Just, hey, boy. He just wants to make sure he's not wearing the same thing as a bony. I'm here to look oh. intimidating. That's gotta be it. <laughs> Alright. Chapter 20. Author's note. I said, Dinati, cur what u think. Stuff p flamen. Okay, preps. One. Fangs. To Raven for to help one. Oh yeah, BT Dubs. I'll be on vacation in Transylvania for the next three days, so do not expect updates. Is she really a vampire? Totally. She's just, just like I'm going to Transylvania. <laughs> I have a headache. This is hard. Yep. Okay. It gives headaches. <laughs> Your pizza's late, by the way. It is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a drink. We ordered it at 11.16. <laughs> Should have been there in 35 to 40 minutes. It's so entertaining, you forget you get pizza. <laughs> pizza and a bunch of water. <laughs> <laughs> she said she was low on water, so I had to get her a bunch. Wait, do they still have that thing where the, if it's late, you get a free pizza? No, Sparky. That died fucking years ago. Why do you <laughs> oh, people only remember that? <laughs> God, dude! <laughs> like, it's uh, not even funny. It's only Domino's who does it, but everyone else thinks everyone should do it. They should. <sighs> All day I wondered what the surprise was. Meanwhile, I put on a black leather mini, a black corset, an herbal lace stuff all over it, and black gothic compact boots. They're compact, they're very small. MCR were gonk to the concert again, since Volks Amort, Jesus Christ, how many letters can they use? Had taken over the last one. I slit my wrists while I moshed to MCR in my bedroom all night, feeling excited. Suddenly, someone knocked on the door while I was trying on some black clothes and moshing to fang you for the venom. I got all mad and turned it off, but sacredly I hopped inside that it was Draco, so he, so we could do it again. What the fucking hell are you doing? I shouted angrily. It was Lupin. This, this, who's this? Um. Who wants to I'll, be Lupin? I'll be Lupin. Well, look, yeah, but that's uh, Snake's line still. Uh. Are you gonna come rape me or what? <laughs> <laughs> I yelled. I was allowed to say that because Dumbledore had told us all to be careful around him and Snap since he was a pedo. No, Ash Tishley get it hell. Can I please is borrow some condoms? He growled angrily. Yeah, so you can fuck your six year old girlfriend, huh? I shouted sarcastically. Fooker he said, gong away. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, I put on some black eyeshadow and black eyeliner and some black lipstick and white foundation. Then I went. Then I gasped. Snake and Lupin were in the middle of the empty hall. Doing Snake it. hell I was. Oh. <laughs> Doing it. <laughs> and Dobby was watching. <laughs> what? Why is go this is all about sex, isn't it? I, I don't recall this ever happening. Uh-oh. <laughs> You think they wrote it and they're like, that's so fucking goth. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All day, every day. It wasn't me. So who yells this? <laughs> Maybe it was an actor. Well, obviously Snake. Snake and someone else. Yeah. And Lupin. It's that's, a... that's sparky. <laughs> they both shouted, so. Oh my god. I don't know who does it. I think this is, um, who, who is Snake? Jund. Uh, Who's Snake? Snake's right here. It's 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 him. How, how Okay, how about Sparky and Devin shout this? Okay. Cuz we have a reputation, you know. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm treating my immortal. Mhm. Mm uh, on 3. Mhm. Mm okay, 1 2 3. 
Oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> you ludicrous idiot! They both shooted angrily when they saw me. Dobby ran away crying. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> he was crying because he got found out he was a sick warrior. I would have already been crying at that point. <laughs> then I went. Then I gasped. Snake. Oh, wait. I. I. Did I yeah, I, I. I got it. They got up, though. Normally, I would have been turned on. I love singing guys do it. But both of them were fucking preps. BT dubs, Snake is mobbed to Griffin Doer now. <laughs> WTF, is that why you wanted condoms? I asked sadistically. See, I spelled that. <laughs> Congratulations. Wait, is this me? Uh. No, this is still. Wait, yeah. No, it's yeah, Lumpkin, yeah, 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 yeah. but it's spelled Lumpkin. You're Lumpkin now. <laughs> oh, you and get them to me! Lumpkin shouted angrily. Well, you should have told me. I replayed. You did what? That's oh. Snake! It's oh, Devin! Snake? It's Devin! Wait, uh -oh. I'm Snake? Yeah, you're Snake now. Oh. Because that used to be Jun, so. Okay. You, you're Dimwit. You are now gaseous, by the way. <laughs> yep, you're gaseous. Oh, okay. Sorry. George Sears. Talk like you have cramps. Ah, you dimwit. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Roll with it. Yep, I'm rolling with it. Okay. Snake began to shoot angrily. And then I took out my black camera and took a pic of them. You could see that they were naked and everything. This is you two again. Well, excuse me. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. They both shouted angrily. What is that out about? Do I have to do it, it too? Yep. <laughs> what is that all about? It was to blackmail you. I snarked. So now next time you see me doing it with my boyfriend, you can't fucking rat me out or I'll show this to Dumbledore. So fuck off, you bastards. I started to run. They chased me, but I threw my wound at them, and they tripped over it. Well, anyway, I went outside, and there was Vampire, looking extremely fucking hot. Mm. <laughs> WTF, where Draco? <laughs> I asked him. <laughs> oh, he's being a fucking bastard. He told me he wouldn't come. <laughs> God. Vampire said, shaking his head. You want to come with me to the concert? Oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> then he showed me his flying car. I gasped. It was a black car. He said his dog father, Sirius Black, had given it to him. The license plate on the front said MCR 666 on it. And the one on the black said Anabi on it. I gasped. <laughs> If it was the dog fathers, I'd so you can say MCR four twenty. <laughs> <laughs> no. We flew to the concert hall. MCR were there playing. Vampire and I began to make out, moshing to the music. I gasped, looking at the band. I almost had an orgasm. Gerard was so fucking hot. He began to sing Helena, and his sexy, beautiful voice began to fill the hall. And then, I heard some crying. I turned and saw Draco, crying in a corner. I think she only knows Helena for MCR. It's like <laughs> really the only so. song, because it plays every concert they go to. <laughs> The only one that matters, sir. They play all the fucking time. Must get paid like Where the shit tons. Fuck is your pizza? I don't know. They're I'm so sorry. Wait, maybe they came and she just didn't hear the doorbell. <gasps> no, no I, I have a dog that would bark noisily yeah. at the doorbell. Uh, well, I, that's happened to me lost. before. He might be my, my see if he's out on the park to me. See if he's walking around the street wondering what a house is. <laughs> <laughs> and plus, uh, don't wouldn't they call you if they're lost? Yeah, they uh, probably would. They did that to me, but I didn't hear them. I'm talking about cry. No, I gave them them her number. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. So that's all her. Well, I guess we're doing uh, chapter 21. Let's do this.
<clears throat> Chapter 21. Author's note. Fuck, uh, okay. Uh, fucking suck. It's not my fault if it's spelled wrong. Ok, cause... Uh, it's okay, I'm not gonna exaggerate that one. <laughs> okay, cause that bitch. Ravern, cause it fuck you preps one. Whoops. Saws Raven, thanks for the help. BT dubs Transylvania rocks rad one. I even got to go to the castle where Dracula, Dr. Cola, was filmed, limbed. Later, we all went in the skull. Draco was crying in the common room. Draco, are you okay? I asked in a gothic voice. No, I'm not, you fucking bitch. He shouted angrily. He started to run out of the place in a suicidal way. I stated to cry because I was afraid he would commit suicide. It's okay, Anobi, said Vampire comfortably. I'll make him feel better. Okay. You mean you'll go fuck him, won't you? I shouted pretty angrily. Then I ran to get Draco. Vampire came too. Oh. Draco! Please! Come. He began to cry. Tears of blood came down his pale face. I was so turned on because I love sensitive bi guys. If urge a homophone, then freak <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> and then. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Uh... Don't be such a homophone, alright, Sparky? Jeez. <laughs> Okay, okay. And then we heard some footsteps. Vampire got out his black invincibility coke. <laughs> invincibility <laughs> coke. Oh my god. <laughs> A little bit of this, I'll feel invincible. <laughs> we both got under it. We saw the janitor, Mr. Norris, there, shouting oh, oh, oh. angrily <laughs> with a flashlight in his hand. This is gonna be red. Who's there? He shouted angrily. We saw filth come in. We went under the invisibility cloak and started to meow loudly. <laughs> what? Is anyone there? Yelled Mr. Norris. No. You fuck you, preppy little poser son of a fucking bitch. Vampire said under his breast in a disgusted way. <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me, who said that? Yelled Mr. Norris. Then he heard Filch meow. Filch, is there anyone under the cloak? He asked. Filch nodded, and then... Vampir Frenched me. He did it just as... Mr. Norris was taking off to cloak one. What the... He yelled. <laughs> But it was too late, cause now we were ruining away from him. And then we saw Draco crying and busting into tears, and sitting his wrists outside the school. Draco? I cried. Are you okay? I guess, no. Draco weeped. We went back to our coffins, frenching each other. Draco and I decided to watch Lake Placid. C isn't that depressing. And on the gothic red bed together. As I was about to put in the video, my eyes rolled up and suddenly I had a vision of something that was happening now. There was a knock on the door and Fug and the mystery of magic walked into the school. Bum, bum, bum. It's a mystery of magic, man. Wait, 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 wait. If they had a vision now, then that means it's happening now, which means it's Does not a vision. Does that mean she's not so Raven? <laughs> Is Raven... that the reason she's friends with? Raven has her sweater, right? <laughs> Jeez. Uh... It's okay. Don't worry about it. <sighs> okay. Chapter 22. Authors know it. Wait, wait, wait. Is, are they even there yet? How long has it been? No, I... It's been, a it's long been time. fifty minutes. I've... Oh jeez. You can kill them if you want. <laughs> just take I... a knife. I told you it meant someone had to die. Yeah, <laughs> he's right. He did. 
Make sure you have gloves so you don't show the prints. <laughs> Except the fact that there'll be blood all over your doorstep and this would be bad. Oh, no, no, don't worry. You can get the dry cleaners to remove that in no time. Okay, I'm I'm going to have to get a notepad to take notes because um, I don't know. Paper trail. <laughs> Perfect idea. Anyway, chapter 22. Authors know it. Shut the fuck up. Preps stop flaming. Flaming. That, that's what the word said. Okay, if you do not lick it fuck of I know it's the Mr. Norris. It's Raven's fault. Okay, one one. You suck one. No, just kidding. Raven, you fucking rock. Preps suck one. Does she have like what? What is that called? Where you have like switching back and forth like dyslexia? moods? No, not dyslexia. <laughs> <laughs> that would make... No, I'm I'm talking about Split like personality. Well, it's like that, but it's like first bipolar? one, like bipolar. There we go. That's what Snake said. Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it right. Yeah. <laughs> Snake said it. Yeah. All day, everyone would talk about the misery of magic. Well, anyway, I woke up the next day. I was in my coffin, so I opened the door. I was wearing black lacy leather. But yeah, that sounds gross. Leather pajamas? Fuck you. I was wearing black lacy leather pajamas, then I gasped. Standing in front of me were Be Bloody Mary, Vampire, Diabolo, Draco, Dracula, and Willow. I opened my crimson eyes. Willow was wearing a tight... They're gonna go over the... Wow, this is gonna suck. <sighs> Willow was wearing a tight black leather top with pictures of bloody roses all over it. Under that... Under that she warped a black poofy skirt with lace on it and black gothic boots that was attached to the top. Vampire was wearing a baggy simple plan t-shirt and baggy black pants and vans. Draco was wearing a black MZR t-shirt and black jeans and a leather jacket. He looked like Gerard, like E. Gerard Way and almost as fucking sexy. Vampire looked like Joel Madden. <laughs> John Madden! Russ, I'm waiting for it. Oh, my God. Wait. I fucked up. Where am I? <laughs> no, you're not anywhere. Oh, what are you waiting for? Joel Madden. John Madden. <laughs> California. <laughs> B-Luddy Mary was wearing a tight, boothy, gothic dress that she had ripped and so it showed of all her cleavage with a white apron that said, Bitch. And, s and other swear words, and MCR lyrics on it, kind of like the one dress I had seen Emmy Lee wear once. Darkness, who is Jenny, was there too. What? That... <laughs> you don't put that she was there there, you put it up there before. <laughs> Whatever. She was weaving a ripped gothic black dress with ripped stuff all over it and with lace-up top thing and black pointy boots. She were crab and goyle. <laughs> So were Crab and Goyle. It turned out that Darkness, Diabolo, Crab and Goyle's dad was a vampire. He committed suicide by slitting his wrist with a razor. I thought you couldn't die if you were a vampire and you do that. I mean, they drink their own blood, so... It, the heart is in the wrist now. <laughs> oh, wow. he, had, he had surgery one time because he was having liver failure. Uh. Well, it's okay because he had raped them before and stuff, too. That's... They all got so depressed, so they became gothic and converted to stanism. So fucking gothic. They're stanisms now. All gothic people put their hearts in their wrists. O M F N G. I yielded as I jumped up. Why the fuck are you all here? And a B, something is really fucked up. Draco said. Okay, but I need to put my fucking clothes on first. I shouted angrily. It's all right. We have to go now. And you look kawaii anyway. You're so fucking beautiful. <laughs> uh... Sexy voice. Dr <laughs> Draco <laughs> said in a sexy voice. Oh, all right. I said smiling. But you have to tell me why you're being all erected. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I know it's supposed to be. <laughs> oh, I will. I will. Uh, he said... So, I 
I just put on some black eyeliner, black lipstick, and red eyeshadow, and white foundation, then I came. That would take for fucking ever. But she came. It's all right. <laughs> okay. We all went outside to the great hall and looked up, looked in from a widow. A fucking prep called Brittany from Gryffindor. Oh, pizza Dogs, here. Dogs, pizza! <laughs> Fine. Almost done with this chapter. So I just put on some black eyeliner, black lipstick, and red eyeshadow and white foundation. Then I came. That's right, then we started giggling. We all went outside to the great hall and looked in from the widow. A frecking prep called Brittany from Gryffindor was standing next to us. She was wearing a pink mini and a Hillary Duff t-shirt. So we put up our middle fingers at her. <laughs> Just imagine this group of like s snobby little gothic kids like be like Ew! with their little fucking middle fingers it's, up. It's just like the South Park episode with the goths. <laughs> uh... They walk. <laughs> Inside the Great Hall, we could see Dumbledore. Cornelia Fudged was there shouting at Dumbledore. Doris Rem Rumbridge was there too. Who's Doris? Uh, who is? Dev. Dev. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't really following along. Sorry, um, you got a bunch of pizza. I do, it's, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to find it. Here, I'll just copy paste it in the Skype chat, since we're oh. almost done. That's, Boop. That's so nice of you. Thank you, I okay. I kinda wanna play Half-Life now. <laughs> <laughs> I have that installed, the Greek game. Wait, is this what Dumbledore is saying then? No, no, no. Oh. She shouted angrily. It should be. This cannot be. I. Okay, this Those cannot be. Separate. She shouted angrily. <laughs> the school must be closed. Is anybody Cornelia? Sparky or Red? No. Um, Red, do you want to do it or do you want me to do it? I already closed out because I read ahead and I made sure oh. I wasn't going to say anything. Oh, okay. Okay, the do Bark it. Lord is planning to kill the students. Yelled Cornelia Fudge. You are not fit to be the principal any longer. Yelled Rumbridge. You are too old and your Alzheimer's is dangerous. You must retry or Voldemort will kill your students. Very well. Dumbledore said angrily! <laughs> but we cannot do this. We can't close the school. There are only one person who is capable of killing Voldemort. It's actually spelled right this time. And she is in the school, and her name is. Anoni Darkness Dimension Ravenway. Draco Crab Goyle Darkness Willow Vampire and Be Light and Mary looked at each other. I gasped. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right. Dot dot dot. That was good. Good good so, job. Good reading, high guys. High good job, high everybody. Good Bro reading. Five. Just did myself. Bro fist Yeah. Great. All right, break. <laughs> break. <laughs>